Welcome to Real Life 360. Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly. Today is Monday, and I believe God has an incredible plan for this day. I'm Amy Schaefer. Coming up, listen, we're going to be cooking with the pineapple grill, and we are making Alfredo sauce. Go right now and get your pencil and your paper and write down this recipe. It's going to be amazing. But first, let's hear music from Julie Elias as she sings Unbroken. Fire, a spirit left so tired, but I survived the trial and I've been lifted higher. My history of victory, lifting off my shoulder. Every day I'm bolder, I fight on like a soldier. The battle's almost over, eternity is one for me. And he is mine. Unbroken, unfrozen. I let the damaged pieces lie. Unshaken, not forsaken. I'm held by love I can't deny. Oh, 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 can't deny. Oh, oh. I'm held by love I can't deny. And I'm unbroken. My devotion lies with the one who makes me whole. He has spoken. I am chosen. I'm held by love I can't deny. I'm held by love. Sydney Grant for Good News 360, where we bring you stories showing how God is on the move. Nonstop prayer protected Christians smuggling Bibles into North Africa. Volunteers from around the world are sneaking scriptures into the some of the most volatile nations to Christianity. Nonprofit groups told the Christian Post, smugglers are risking their lives to fulfill the Great Commission, which is to make disciples of all nations. Bible smugglers say since the prayer, they've witnessed supernatural protection. One woman close to being caught was saved when airport security checked everyone's bag except hers. And the first ever Muslim to be crowned Miss USA gave her life to Christ. Rima Faki reportedly received salvation ahead of her wedding last month. She recently tweeted a picture of herself in a pageant with the scripture Philippians 4.13, which says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Faki is the former Miss Michigan and won the title of Miss USA back in 2010. And divine inspiration led to a Christian family winning 
$430 million lottery ticket in New Jersey. Pearlie Mae Smith says God gave her a dream where she received the numbers to play. The family says the numbers don't represent special dates like birthdays or anniversaries. They chose a lump sum option of $284 million. The Smiths say they plan to tie 10% of their winnings to their church, pay off their debt, and help their community. The chances of winning the lottery, by the way, is 1 in 292 million. That's all for Good News 360. Have a great day on purpose. Good news is refreshing to the soul. That's what we're all about here on Real Life 360. Hey, I'm with Anna Fry. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. You know what else is refreshing to the soul? What? Somebody else cooking food for us. Praise God. We don't have for to that. cook. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Do you think they can make, I just think it's interesting, Anna, that they picked the cooking segment on our day. I know, right? Are uh, they trying to tell us uh, something? All I'm saying is my husband is going to be very glad <laughs> that I am on this show today learning how to make Alfredo sauce, which I've only ever had out of a jar. So, what? Ew, I, <laughs> I just don't even have believe you. Made, you. Have you made <gasps> Alfredo no, no. sauce? Let me just tell you what I made. Look, look in here. I made for my family this week homemade Alfredo sauce, Did fettuccine you? with blackened chicken and steamed broccoli. It was amazing. No, you didn't. I really uh, did. did yeah, my one meal this week I made. I'm very impressed. Praise okay, God. Okay, so you have a head start on this yeah, today. I, can't, I cannot wait to hear about You know, th even the Acts 2 church, they, what did they do? They went and they broke bread together yes. and they ate together. I mean, eating together is really an important part Absolutely. of our family life, Christian life. Yes. And really in our culture today, we're so busy. Yes. We're so rushed that we feel like there's no time to actually sit down and enjoy a meal. But yeah. that is vital to building relationships, it finding is. out how yeah. somebody is really doing, mm -hmm. having the opportunity to be able to listen, especially for our kids. Yeah. Like having those family meals is important. Yeah. In, mm -hmm. in Egypt, my husband was there with some pastors and they were feeding him. They would dip the, the pita in the hummus and feed him. And they said, when you really love somebody, you will feed them. And oh, I just yeah. thought about, you know, Jesus and his disciples and, mm -hmm. and the Last Supper. I mean, it, 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 food. Thank God right. for food. Thank yeah. God when other people cook food, like at the, it coming up on this show. Right. Absolutely. I have to give a shout out to my mother-in-law too, because she is incredible. Incredible. I know she's watching too, at bringing the family together around the table. And so neat to see all that has happened in the family because my mother-in-law brings yeah. us around the table. And she cooks yep. good food. It's delicious. Yeah. Delicious. Thank food. God for yes. that. Hey, mm -hmm. well, it is Monday and we, here's what we want to do. We want to motivate you spiritually, physically, mentally in every way. And today's Motivational Monday uh, comes from this one act of obedience is worth a hundred sermons. This is from Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Mm -hmm. Now, we have a little, I mean, this is so true because really mm -hmm. faith without works is dead Absolutely. and action speak louder than words. And right. this man actually lived this life of obedience and put his faith to action. Yes, he did. He was such a brave man of God. He, he did speak the word, but then he went out and just did mighty courageous works and, yeah. and then was martyred. Yeah. Too for right. it. Yes. So. He, he rescued people. Mm -hmm. Man, we know that God has an incredible plan for your Monday, for this real life. Listen, if you have anything going on in your life and you're like, I really need somebody to, you know, pray with me and to hook up, we want you to give us a call at 888 665 4483. Our prayer partners are going to pray for you, pray the prayer of faith, and we know that, that God is going to move on your behalf. You know, Anna, have you, have you seen that one? Facebook picture where uh, like a video and there's this polar bear and he's like crawling on his arms and he's like, think. this is my Monday. Oh, and he's, <laughs> that is not, not going to be our Monday. Are you kidding? Right. We're going to get up and we're going to rock Monday and rock this week. Hey, yes, we, we will be right back and we're going to cook. Stay tuned. Hey ladies, I have some great news for you. The women of the Cornerstone team have joined together to make a special journal just for you. It's the Cornerstone Take 10 Journal. 
It's a 21-day prayer journal designed to help us all grow as women of God. Each day begins with 10 minutes of inspiration, life coaching, encouragement, and journal time. May Partners, call today with your gift to the ministry for this brand new devotional written by the women of Cornerstone for the women in your life. Don't miss hard questions where pastors come together to tackle the issues of the day right out of the Bible. This week we asked, how does God bring discipline into our lives? What's the correct way to repent? And how are we to respond when our pastors fall from grace? Hard questions, Thursdays at 10 a.m., 9 p.m., and Sundays at 4.30 p.m. I told you we're gonna cook, and this is a miracle. We're in the kitchen. Hey, we have Steve and Brett and Melissa Borscht from the Pineapple Grill. They're friends of Cornerstone, and today they're joining us to make some delicious recipes. We can't wait. Steve and Brett, welcome to Real Life 360. Thank you, thank you. Yay, so what are you making for us? I already gave a little tease. Today we're gonna do Alfredo. We're gonna start one off with a little bit of uh, fresh butter. Okay. Uh, then we're going to do some heavy cream, garlic. I always smash my garlics, just a little fresh. You kind of get a sweeter aroma versus that minced, a little more fine. Okay. Um, so we'll start that right there, just about a yeah, pint. Do a little yes, however you want. Yes, this is butter and cream make life pretty much amazing. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it smells so good. I didn't know you put the whole garlic in there. I do Why? that just because... If do you, you take it out? Uh, yes, you can either spoon it or leave it in there trying to have aroma. You're okay. infusing it, kind of. Okay. Ooh. So a lot of times when you mince it, you get a little bit, obviously, in your teeth, but you also get <laughs> a little bit stronger of a flavor, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what's that? This is going to be our shrimp, our protein there. Okay. A little olive oil. A little bit of scallops. Whoa. Nice. Little so olive oil, you start extra with a virginal. very hot pan before you put any ingredients into the pan, right? Correct. And I like using a little bit of fresh butter and olive oil so you kind of get a little... Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I was just up on Okay, so then what, when I try this at home, everything starts like spitting. The oil spits out yeah. at me. Is that normal or is there a way to keep that from happening? Well, you want to keep it on a medium to a high heat, but it, sometimes you even have to pull it off the heat a little bit and kind of okay. just get it. What's your favorite part about cooking? Just kind of like how you put all different types of ingredients together and you just kind of get a finished product at the end and then making people happy, kind of like what you fixed. Do you so like when people rave about your food? I mean, it does make you feel <laughs> like your job was well done, certainly. <laughs> okay, so you grew up with parents who know their way around the kitchen. That's not did fair. You, <laughs> did you, when you were real young, were you in the kitchen with them? I can remember standing on a milk crate at like eight, cutting pineapple and stuff and cantaloupe. I just, I enjoy being around food, working with it, eating as I'm cooking, obviously. Yeah, and it's just kind right? of a fun experience. Yeah. I have a hard time when I go out to eat or something with friends. I'll be telling the servers, like, just a little bit of garlic and sear on one side and a twist of lemon and no garlic. Way. And I have to stop myself sometimes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, right, so that could this, be rude. We got this down to a little simmer. You don't want okay. it boiling, but I've always been taught you want to wait till the bubbles come all the way to the middle. Okay. You'll see them start around the edge, yeah, but it. you want to wait till them to the middle. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to have some fresh Parmesan, okay. um, Romano, and Asiago. Mm. So as long, long as you get all those three, you get a little deeper and a richer flavor. Okay, say that again. We need Parmesan, Romano, Romano and Asiago. And, Asiago. Okay. and you can use powdered or great. I press grated these. Um, we're just going to start adding a little bit at a time. And it's all about when you see the bubbles in the middle. Because okay. you want to reduce it. It's thickening, right? Correct. Yeah, you want to reduce it and you can't have it break. So if you don't wait till the bubbles, it'll break and then... What does break mean? How well, do you break your... You have to solidify it. So it's going to, it's going to be more of a creamy. At the end, I'll have a spoon and you can Cream kind of see once separates. it gets... Cream and butter separates. And if right. Dad wants to help okay. me kind of... Dad, Flip come on these. in here, Dad. Yeah, this one over here for me. That's the I don't think... seafood one. Mm -hmm. Now, where did the name pineapple grill come from? Well, you know, we grill a lot of our foods, yeah, and the pineapple good. is the uh, hospitality. You know, it's the uh, international sign of uh, friendliness and hospitality. Is it? Oh, absolutely. I didn't know that. That's absolutely. really cool. Really fucking good. I was thinking, do you grow pineapples? No, no, not is yet. Is that possible? 
You we can. do grill them with cinnamon sugar sometimes. A little drizzle of honey. Mm -hmm. yeah, they are nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we grill them. Nice. And now, so uh, you guys have a catering business, is that correct? Yeah, or? we're located at the Garden City in Monroeville uh -huh. at uh, the banquet center there. And we travel anywhere. You know, we, we you know, also have uh, the food it's service at the Cornerstone Church and Export. Uh -huh. That's right. Cornerstone yeah. Ministries. I have and to say a fun little tip about food here. He's pepper, known as the bacon man. Powder. Bacon oh, at our church, fresh yes. Fresh days. Yeah. Little kids come around on Sundays, White you know. Yeah. Sometimes pepper. they're not so happy going back there. And uh -huh. I ask them, you'd like a little piece of bacon there? So, you know, That's right. Minute, you carry bacon with you? No, no, I have the kitchen there. there. Oh, you're cooking. Yeah, so they walk by the kitchen. But you're right, food. we might have to start carrying it. You yeah, know, you should carry bacon around, Ch dipped in chocolate. No, I don't do the chocolate oh. yet, but... Uh, <laughs> well, that's a tip. Yeah, that will be. That's my tip to you. <laughs> See, are you glad you came? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, this is looking so good. Sauce is getting there. I'm going to add a little more cheese. I'm okay. going to keep letting it go. All right. And then my two favorite ingredients that kind of I've gotten off a couple different chefs is a little bit of nutmeg and an egg yolk. No way. The egg yolk just kind of brings it sweeter and deeper and richer. It's amazing. Um, what? Anytime you got up, eggs, yeah. cream, and garlic and stuff, it's just pretty wonderful, okay, in my opinion. Is how you your Alfredo sauce at home? You know, I, I, we're close, but I did not add the nutmeg and the egg yolk. Now, this is oh, good. It just ties it all learning. together and makes it lovely. You're going to make me look like amazing at home when I cook for friends. Uh, and I've never once given this recipe to anyone. Yeah, all these recipes are proprietary. <laughs> okay. However, I guess they're going to be shared on TV. Oh, here no, for... no, it's public now. We're going global with I this recipe. That. I see that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Just about there. You ready for the egg or? No, not too. So right do you guys in. cook every night Pull at home or thing? are you like tired after catering? I don't know what the kitchen is when I get home. My wife night. tells me. Oh, is that oh. right? Yeah, I, I, we, we, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll certainly share the duties. He's, <laughs> that's really good. Do you ever just eat like a bowl of cereal and a PB&J? Absolutely, oh, absolutely. Good. Bologna Thank sandwiches, God. tomato soup, absolutely. Yeah. They taste, they the taste very, simple. very good. BLTs. Absolutely. Oh. Do you guys have favorite recipes that you like to make? Like, what's your favorite kind you of know, food You uh, know, so make? many folks over the years have their, their favorites. Mm -hmm. So, so us producing your favorite food, as grandma used to know, or mama mm -hmm. used to, you know, aunt so-and-so did it this way. That, that's kind of neat. Right. You know, but I don't think we have um, a favorite, personally. I know I don't. His Alfredo I like a lot, because he, he does a good job with this Alfredo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Missy's baked goods are always so great. She's one of the best pastry chefs around. Um, Just yeah. about there. She's really good. Comfort food uh -huh. on my side. She's got <laughs> some little Italian cream cake on the, on the table there, and she also has her oh homemade Italian gosh. bread. Oh, well, she, has to do, she has to do garlic oh, butter. Home, wait, homemade put... Italian bread. Oh, homemade absolutely. Italian bread with a dipping. So oh, wow. you have to have some fresh brewed sweet tea. I homemade Italian bread. I thought you so did you guys, to the store. did you guys meet <laughs> through your love of cooking? Well, kind of. he worked in the food service. I actually had an office job. Yeah. And he used to spy on me through the cafe windows at where we worked. Well, she came up for lunch. So, she came up for lunch. And uh, I said, hey, you want to help carry this through your car? <laughs> Nice. And that's how it started. Nice. Wow. So it was one of those quick romances. <laughs> right. We proposed so, in know, five weeks. Dating right four months we were married. Yeah. We've been celebrating yeah. 31 and a half years. Wow. So we've been in the kitchen together. Amazing. 31 and a half years. A romance around food. Okay. So he has a recipe for love and for food. This is awesome. Again, proprietary. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've, we've got... I think we're close. Shrimp, scallops, Alfredo, grilled chicken. chicken. Now, how do you say this? Is it farfalle? Farfalle and oh, bow tie noodles, farfalle, correct. Chicken. I guess then those, yeah, those chicken. were just uh, the variety that you can do with Alfredo. Some people just like chicken. Some people are vegetarians, just want the vegetables. Yeah. But it's so versatile, this, this type of dish, that you can use any any of the uh, items there. What about with all the dietary? Oh, I've got to watch this. This is where I missed it. Little color, little little thickening agent. Yeah, it'll make it really nice. Really? Nice color to it. And as you get that whisked in, as you can okay. see, it's just going to thicken, make it nice and sweet, and kind of bring your cream and your butters and everything together with your cheeses. Oh, uh -huh. so what do you think about that? Good. Yes. I'm thinking. We'll just be touch it with a little grate of nutmeg. Jesus just showed up. <laughs> and we will be ready. He's the best chef, right? He is. Just some whole nutmegs, just a couple. Not a lot. Oh, yummy. Just right there. We'll whisk that in. Okay. And we're ready to plate. And then hopefully the judges will tell us if it's any good. If you guys want to put judges? some of that on there, we, I can plate. do it. 
Okay. All right, show us how well, we're just going to take a little bit of this. Grab some of those. For Folly. Now, you didn't do your Asiago. Ossi yeah, I fresh grated those and I just kind of oh, had them pre done. Did. Okay, I see what you yep. did. And then for garnish or a touch, you can never have too much cheese, so yeah. we could even put a little more on the end. <laughs> you never have enough cheese. <laughs> and then I did some uh, fresh flash grilled um, zucchini and squash. Yum. It's pretty, but it also, I love um, grilled vegetables, olive oil, salt and pepper, a little paprika. Okay. Paprika. I'm ready to right. sauce. Thank you. Now come behind this yeah, way. Yeah, sure. We'll just kind of spoon that on. Yes, beautiful. Nutmeg. It's a secret. Yeah, but now nice it's little, not. I know, that's horrible. <laughs> and you guys also have a daughter in the business. We do. As she, well as a son She helps right? part time, but they are actually on their honeymoon in Alaska oh, at the moment. So, the marketing no. director. Yes. She does a lot of that. So. Oh, that's wow. awesome. She does a lot of Alaska. our marketing, and our son in law helps with sales. So. Oh, so nice. is it challenging working together as a family? It has been um, through the years, wow. but as they get Fires older and then uh -huh. they then we're out on their own and then they come back right. to learn the family right. business. So okay. everyone seems to be taking a part and enjoying it now. So. I would like chicken. Oops, we'll do chicken. Chicken. We have that one. Shrimp. May not be enough sauce on there, Amy, so I'll get you closer now, to what you. What about people with special needs, gluten-free, you know, those dietary? Kind of yeah. do you, do you to cater adjust to and Absolutely. cater to mm -hmm. all of those needs? Oh, wow. Now, okay. It seems that there are more and more gluten-free eaters. I know that's how, that's how I eat. Thank you guys for coming and cooking for us. Oh, absolutely, our pleasure. It's wonderful. I'm trying nice to make sure here. I stay out of the way. We are going to taste and see that the good Lord man. is good to us today. Yes. And so, when do we get to? Do we try it now? Go you ahead. Can try it. You're just going to stand there and watch us, or are you going to partake right also? I don't okay. think we have to you grab one. I'm going to try here's some a of this. Spoon and fork yeah. Right here yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. See, this is a real kitchen. We thank you. This is what you do in real life. You eat together, and That's you right. talk, and you love the okay. Lord. Ready? He is good. You ready? Oh, this is a scallop, right? Yeah. Okay. Mmm. It's so good. <laughs> Nutmeg, Wonderful. cream, butter makes mm. the world go around, mm -hmm. and it will light up your life. Thank you guys so much Thank for coming. Welcome. Thank you for having me. You're it. awesome. Fantastic. Thank you for this food. Jay will be joining with us in a little bit to discuss the God moments from today, and we're going to pray together. We'll be right back. I'm Denise Graves, and I want to invite you to watch More Than a Song every Tuesday at 10 a.m. and 9 p.m., featuring some of your favorite music artists sharing their stories and music. Music touches our spirits and brings us into the presence of God. Join us each week as we draw closer to Him. You will not want to miss Sister to Sister this week because we're talking, what do you do when you forget someone's name? Susie, uh, Sally, Thanks, no. uh, Sydney. Sydney, Sydney, yes. Sydney, yeah. And Kathy, what do you think about flirting a little bit? Is it okay to flirt? Oh, you are flirting. <laughs> you should call her. And don't forget to watch us on Wednesday at 10 a.m. and 9 p.m. every week, Sister to Sister. Cornerstone Television Network bringing you all sorts of stuff today. <laughs> Not only are you getting the gospel, but I'm a little jealous because they're mm, over here just crushing Can you this food. Smell it? We should have brought a plate over for you. I'm We're so kind of rude. Rude. Is more blessed to give than to receive. <laughs> Y'all missing that one. Oh, I know you're jealous. I am. I am. It's I'm really, really good. So wow. thank you, Pineapple no, not, not Grill, for that coming and yes. and teaching us how to cook and be. We can knock our family socks off. And, you know, they're so hospitable, too. Mm. I mean, they really know yeah. how to treat the people that yeah. they're serving. The bacon guy. Well, the they got some guy. good stuff. They, chicken. See, <laughs> we call them scrimps. 
Them ain't just shrimps. Them are scrimps. That's how shrimps? we say it. Really? That's the Ebonics way of saying it. Oh, okay. They're okay. scrimps. So oh, they've got succulent and shrimp and chicken and everything. They just oh. did a great, great job. But you know what's Good. awesome? Not only did they do a wonderful job, but Cornerstone is winning the lost. Yes. And we've got a great salvation report right here. We've got Bobby that called in for a first-time conversion today on this show. Yes. Amen. 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 And we prayed that prayer. We did. Earlier in the show. So, we did. Man, yeah. that's just amazing. It's a whole new world. We also have a praise report. Ed and Francis are giving praise to God for a financial blessing. Listen, a $1,400 hospital bill relinquished by their doctors. I mean, Amen. that is a praise report. That happen? Exactly. That's awesome. mm. So. That's, Amen. That is a miracle. God God wants to do something unusual and unique That's in right. your life that doesn't make sense to everybody else. Well, that didn't happen for so-and-so. Exactly. You're highly favored of God, and things happen for you. Amen. We've That's got right. some prayer requests here too, Anna, Yes, don't we? Iris called in, and Iris um, is going to be moving, needs some help, is having a lot of um, anxiety. Mm -hmm. And Iris, I want to just encourage you that getting still before the Lord and being able to just lay all of your burdens at his yes. feet and leaving them there, leaving them there is the key to just releasing that anxiety. So we're praying for, for that release. Amen. What about you? And Don is on his way to the hospital right now to the emergency room and he needs healing. So Father, we pray for Don in Jesus' name as he's heading to the emergency room that you're with him, that you're going to heal him and touch his body in Jesus' name. Also, we have a Norma Jean. Oh, what a sweet name. Praying for her son, Chris, who is in training Air Force doctors in wow. Pakistan. Wow. Wow. Man, God's protection is around him in Jesus' name. Angels all around him. Yeah. Amen. And even though this is Motivational Monday, it's going to be a Miracle Monday for you as well. We've got Mr. Omar here that called in that has diabetes and believing God to do a miracle. He's having some struggles with his vision. Uh, Mary is... 80 years old, and she's just requesting requesting prayer today. And we also have Shirley, who's praying for Michael today because he has a custody hearing and wants to get his children back. So we're going to believe God yes. to work some miracles today and yes. believe God for a great breakthrough in your life. Can we just pray yes. for these right now? Yes, and let's Absolutely. pray for Don and Terry's trip to Israel and Gordon Robertson. Yes, and yes. That would be... Awesome. Amen. You want to pray? Thank you, Father. Yes, Father, we just thank you so much for, Father, all of these needs you care yes. about. And that, Father, we know that you're going to heal, restore, deliver, save, protect. In Jesus' name, we thank you yes. for protection over Don yes. and Terry. Thank you. You open yes. doors of favor and windows of opportunity for them. Father, give them revelation and insight of Jesus like never before and let them bring it back home to, to Cornerstone, yes, Father. God. Make it come alive in Jesus' yes. name. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amy, what's coming up next? All right, well, stay tuned to Cornerstone because coming up next is Origins. Join Origins host Don Chapman as he welcomes professor, author, and speaker, Dr. Jerry Bergman for Evolution, Let the Animals Speak. The program will feature some specific animals and plants that defy evolution. That's coming up next on Cornerstone Network. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We know God has an incredible plan for your real life, and we are cheering you on. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.